Hey guys, it's uh, Briar Home Buyers and I am Mling. Um, so today we're talking about selling your house during the holiday season. So one of the biggest tips obviously for selling your house is to stage it correctly. And um, one of the things during the holiday season is that you wanna make it look warm and cozy and all that good stuff. So what we, what we recommend is that you have like throw blankets out, big fluffy pillows, um, you know, just anything that looks fluffy and warm, like if you have a fireplace, get that thing going, just that sort of stuff. Like you want to make it very inviting and cozy, like the kind of place you go when it's, you know, grandma's house on a winter day and you're going to go get cookies and all that good stuff. Um, and then another tip is to just really think about the lighting. Um, although natural lighting, like right now, is like the best lighting, um, sometimes in the winter, as we all know, it just gets really kind of dark and depressing and there isn't a ton of natural lighting. So you want to take it into your own hands to make sure that your house is well lit because there's nothing that's like more depressing than just a really dark, dim house. Um, and another tip is to incorporate seasonal smells, you know, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Um, one of my favorites is like cinnamon or those like potpourri bowl things that have like Christmas smells in them. Um, another tip that we also like to do is tell people to, like if you're not a big cooker, like you don't like to bake and you're not into baking like gingerbread cookies whenever you have someone coming over for an open house, um, we know people that just literally like on a baking tin pan thing, just put uh, vanilla extract, put it in the oven at like 350 for three to five minutes and it just like fills the whole house in vanilla and it smells great and that's always, always a good smell. Um, but also if you are into cooking, then making comfort foods is always like a plus and people love free snacks. So um, some of the stuff we recommend, you know, you can go out and just buy candy canes. Um, you can get those pre-made uh, cookies that are already like frosted and things like that. Um, but then also the special touch of doing it yourself. And another one of our tips is to make sure that there's sounds. Um, sometimes it's kind of awkward when you just have people walking around the house and there's no background music or background noise. Um, but we do want to like to just be wary of Christmas music because as everyone knows, it starts literally the day after Black Friday. And um, sometimes people are just kind of tired of hearing it. So a couple tips on that, uh, just to get instrumental versions instead of the actual um, Christmas sound or Christmas CDs um, and just have it playing really low in the back so it's not like in everyone's face all the time. And um, the final tip is to not get a Christmas tree or a very large one. Um, as everyone knows, not everyone celebrates Christmas, yada yada yada. But also, it takes up a lot of space, and um, uh, there's just something about it being cumbersome and in the way that can detract from the rest of the house or from that room in particular. So it's just better to take that sort of big decoration out of the way and to not have it, like all your decorations not super personalized. So um, your Christmas decoration shouldn't have like, you know, all 30 grandkids names lined up on the wall or whatever like just keep it very simple and as plain and neutral as possible so yeah those were our tips for selling your house during the holiday season and um if you want to read them more in depth go to the link below or if you want to just uh reach out touch base with us and see if there's anything else that we could help you with about possibly selling your house or seeing what your options are you know who to call bye